my friends. Good to see you. Um, our friend Nora told me that she would like to see the directions first and then the story. So I thought, eh, we'll give it a try. I said, I'll up for a suggestion and you can let me know if it works better for you. So we're talking about the little helper today. And on this paper, you're going to tell me how you think the lion felt when the ropes were on him. Do I think you can write a whole sentence? No, some of you can. So you can write I, and then you can make a face of how you think about this lion with the ropes on him. You can show me in pictures. Try to write any words you can. Okay, so I just want your opinion. So nobody's wrong here. I just want to see what you're thinking and how well or how well you're going to try to write it. Okay. We're working on some S sounds. So could you trace S, S, S and try to write these words twice on the line? Uh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, I know. Then we have like, 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 color in the dots. I don't care what color. You can make a rainbow. You can make a polka dots, whatever. Find the words that say like. The, the circles that have like in them. Please write them, uh, color them. Here you're going to write with a pencil, regular pencil. Some of you are trying to get the funny stuff. Regular pencil, write like, like, like. Write like two more times, and here write it three times. There is a fire drill. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. We had a fire drill, and it was kind of windy outside, too. So we did the likes, and now we have this is for fun. You don't have to do it, but it's fun. It's visual acuity, finding these things inside the shape, a hidden picture. Sometimes if you go upside down, you can see it a lot better. So that's for fun because it starts with an S and we're doing some S things. Speaking of S things, let's do this. Ready? P, pan, pa. P, pan, pa. A, apple, a. Ah. D, dog, duh. C, crazy cat, cuh. L, lamp, la. N, nut, nuh. D, terrible, top, duh. B, bat, buh. F, friends, fuh. R, rat, er. Ew, octopus, ah. Oh. I like that one too. G, game, guh. S, snakes, muh. M, man, muh. Okay, so, all right, Nora. Since we did the, the, what we're doing afterwards, the instructions, directions. Here's our story. You heard this yesterday, and so you are familiar with it. And it's about a lion and a mouse, and we're talking about the characteristics. And I want you to tell me about how the lion feels under the ropes. Here it is, the little helper. One day, a tiny mouse crawled up a little hill, but the hill was a, a big, mighty lion who had been fast asleep. Who dares to wake me, the king of beasts, roared the lion. He grabbed the little mouse in his great big paw. The little mouse trembled and shook. Forgive me, your majesty. Please let me live. I may be able to help you someday. The lion laughed and laughed. How could a tiny creature like you ever help the king of beasts? He said, but you have put me in a good mood, so I will let you go. The grateful mouse thanked the lion and raced off as fast as he could. The next day, the mouse was skipping through the grass. Suddenly, he came upon the mighty lion again. This time, the king of beasts was trapped in a hunter's net. I can help you, your majesty, the little mouse cried. The mouse gnawed on the ropes. Remember, gnawed is he's going to use his teeth to chomp through it. Gnawed on the ropes with his sharp little teeth until the ropes broke and the lion was free. Thank you, my little friend, said the grateful lion. You were right. Even a tiny creature like you can help a big, mighty creature like me. was a nice story. I thought that was delightful. So tell me how you feel, how you think the lion feels with the ropes on him. And I explained everything, and I'll put the directions in, in the direction box. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.